TRT seems to be all the rage these days and maybe an excuse for most people to start to take steroids. But if you are taking this seriously or thinking seriously about starting TRT, this is a video that you probably want to watch because it's something that most people aren't talking about or doing their due diligence when it comes to this topic. And this could be the difference between fixing your life or wrecking your body in the long term. So if you are new here, my name is Leif and I've been coaching people for over 20 years and helping them reach their fitness goals. I'm 47 years old, so I've been speaking from a lot of experience and a lot of things that I've gone through and what's helped me along the journey. Advice that actually works, I hope, and not quick fixes or clickbait. And if you are looking for no BS, real world strategies to level up your health and wellness, then you're probably in the right place, hopefully. So let's start off with what is TRT. And I wanna put a disclaimer here that I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on the internet. And I'm talking about my experience over the last five years of researching this topic, because obviously this is a path that I'm going down eventually. And once I feel that I'm ready for that step, then I will be taking it. So I'm talking about experience and I will highly recommend that you do seek proper medical advice when it comes to this topic. But what I'm trying to provide here is information that will give you the tools necessary to be able to navigate this complex topic. So let's start with what TRT is. TRT is basically testosterone replacement therapy. So from that sentence, you should understand that this is replacing testosterone in your body that has been diminished over time. So it's not for sports performance enhancement in any capacity, nor is it bodybuilding, which is a very different world when it comes to these types of drugs. The whole point of this is to bring up your levels up to normal levels. And I emphasize normal. That means that most people on TRT, you wouldn't be able to tell that they're on TRT because their physique doesn't change much per se, or it's very small changes in their body. Having said that, what I hope to do this it, within this video is to kind of go through the questions that you need to ask and maybe the steps that you need to take before you get into TRT. The first one, which I feel is the most critical one, is the blood work that you need to do every six months to a year. So if you're in your 30s, I would highly recommend doing this because understanding where your hormones are throughout your life is so critical to know that are we on the decline or has everything been stable for the past few years. And why I say that is if you take one point in time and you take that information and you see that you have low testosterone, that doesn't necessarily mean I need to do TRT or go on TRT. What it does mean is that at that point that you've looked at, you have low testosterone. And maybe in a few months, it'll go up to normal because at that point, you've gone through something maybe dramatic in your life that has brought down your testosterone. So this is a critical thing that we test certain things, not only hormones, but certain things within your life to see where we are as a benchmark. That's the first step. And I would highly recommend that people do this for at least a year before they start to consider TRT. It's, it's so important for that to happen without just jumping the gun and, and doing TRT. So what would I recommend? And I'll put this down. The first thing is total and free testosterone. These are very important. The other one is LH, which is luteinizing hormone. The other one is FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. Prolactin, estradiol, E2, your sex hormone binding globulin, which is SHBG, and your hemoglobin as well, which is important. Prostate specific antigen, which is PSA, your complete blood count, your CBC, lipid panel, glucose, insulin, HbA1c, thyroid pa panel, TSH, free T3, free T4 as well. These are probably the, the basics that you should have uh, as you're getting older to take probably once a year to see where you are with that. The next question you need to start as asking is, are there any physical signs of low testosterone? And what are the physical signs? And this is something that most people don't even ask when they start to go into clinics or with doctors. Low testosterone can be seen or felt when you have low libido, uh, erectile dysfunction, poor sleep quality, decrease in muscle mass and strength within the gym. Uh, your body fat is increasing, you feel depressed, poor memory, brain fog. All of these symptoms can be due to low testosterone. It's not the only reason you have them, but it's a starting point to kind of ask the right questions. Put that with your lab tests and we start to get a, a clearer picture of where things are going. Now, the third part of this, which is equally as important, is understanding why do I have low testosterone, if that is the case. And like I said before, this could be one specific point in your life that you've dropped with regards to your testosterone. 
And once things go back to normal, your testosterone will go back to the normal levels. And why is that important is that the more information we have, the more we can see a trend. And once we understand the trend, then we can make the right decisions. But if at one point in your life for the last six months, you've been highly stressed, somebody that you love has gotten sick, for example, there's a death, something traumatic, then that stress level is going to start to affect your testosterone. So you making the decision that I want to be on TRT because of that is probably not the right decision at this point. Because once that clears in your life, then your testosterone should, in theory, go back to its normal levels. Sometimes it's not just about aging. Sometimes it's just something that's happened in your life that are affecting these things. And understanding that will make a big difference. Simple things as being deprived of sleep, for example, or being exposed to high stress levels for a long period of time, uh, not sleeping well, overtraining, uh, nutritional deficiencies, all of these things could lead to you having low testosterone. So if that is the case and you've gone through that, then that is the starting point of trying to fix the low testosterone that you have. And that would be the first step. The other part, which most of the time shocks me, is that there are simple things within life that can be fixed that makes a big difference in terms of your health and wellness. And obviously the hormonal balance within your body is, is critical and is based off of these things that you need to be doing. So before you even do that, ask yourself the question, are you prioritizing sleep? So are you getting seven to eight hours of good quality sleep? Are you eating good food or whole foods that are processed and you're eating within what you should be eating? Are you doing resistance training or strength training and are you doing your cardio as well? And are you consistent with that? Do you have tools and mechanisms to deal with daily stresses and long-term stress as well. Do you hydrate properly? And once you ask those, these questions that are critical, what are you doing to fix them? And once, if those are dialed in, let's say 80% uh, dialed in or fixed, then it stops becoming lifestyle problems and there might be something else happening. Now, once you've gone through that, and if you're still at that point where things haven't improved, then that's where we start to think about going down a medication part of it. And this is where a medical doctor needs to get involved with this. But there are options before you even think about doing TRT that can kind of boost or uh, kickstart your production again, but it just needs a bit of help. So an example of that is HCG, which is a female hormone, but it can be used for males where it will mimic uh, a stimulus for the testes to start to produce testosterone. So that is one of the options that are out there that you can do it. But again, this video isn't about that specifically, but I do want to highlight the point that before you even think about TRT, that that's a step that you might want to take and consider because there's no better source of testosterone than whatever your body produces naturally. So if you can get your body to reproduce it again, then that would be a very, very useful step to take. Because let's be honest, if you do go down the route of doing TRT, then you've got to understand this is a lifetime commitment and it's something that you have to be very diligent with as well. So there is a lot of responsibility when it comes to it. So let's assume you've gone through all of that and we've figured out that you do really have low testosterone and there's nothing going to fix it because your body just stops producing it because you're getting older and that's life and that's how it is. But there is a right way to do it. And a lot of people miss this step as well. First, understanding that there's different types of testosterone that people can take and each one has a different protocol to take. Some you can inject daily, some could be bi-weekly, so it's split up into twos, and some could be longer term. So understanding and educating yourself about that and what works for your lifestyle is, is useful. There are other things, creams and, and I believe pills that can do that as well. Probably not something I would recommend, but they, these are options because everybody has different circumstances and not everybody has the availability of that. But keep that in mind that when you do decide to do this with the help of a medical doctor, obviously, that it has to be gradual. You start with low dosages and you see how things feel. And it's not over the first couple of days. It's over months of testing and retesting to see where things are. Is everything balanced? Is anything going out of whack? And from there, you monitor it as you go along and you're going to try to find that sweet spot, the spot where you're feeling comfortable, where things are functioning well, your libido is up there, um, your energy is there, you're able to build muscle again. Keep in mind that everything I said takes sometimes years to get to. And it's the right way to do it rather than running into something as other people do as an excuse. Oh, I'm, I'm above 40. I should be on TRT. So my final message to most people is that TRT is not a shortcut. It is a very serious thing that you need to think about. 
And it is something you're going to do for the most of your life, if not the rest of your life. You need to respect the process, respect your body, and understand that it's a very complex system that needs to be respected in that way. So there's a right way and there's a way that kind of people do uh, just because they think it's going to add value into their life. So if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter yet, I send out a weekly newsletter with a lot of information similar to this video, but more actionable things and tools and gimmicks and, and gadgets that you can use in your life that will add value. And I would highly appreciate that because it's one of the reasons why I'm doing this is to reach as many people as I can with information that I've found useful in my life and hopefully you will as well. So until next week, stay active, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video. YouTube seems to think that you will enjoy this video over here. So press on it before it disappears forever. And if you do find my content somewhat useful or entertaining, subscribe to my channel over here, press on my face. I would highly appreciate that and enjoy.